video, whatever, in body, I'm about to let a video this is a reaction to why America is definitely is desperately is desperately claiming no land out there. Maps reveal a truth about the United States that even though the country is among the largest in the world, they have conquered new land that didn't exist before and reclaimed land that had become worthless. And while you might think of the Netherlands or even China's reclaimed islands in the South China Sea, when you think of land reclamation, the US is in fact number four on the list of countries that have reclaimed the most land. But as with a lot of things, they do it differently in America. See, land reclamation is more than just pouring sand into the ocean to create more land. In fact, there are four ways to reclaim land. The first and most known one is obviously dredging, the act of excavating underwater soil to make new portions of land emerge, as in the creation of artificial islands. This is what we've seen China doing in the South China Sea. The second option is landfilling, where holes, valleys or shallow waters are filled with materials to develop even and usable terrain. Then there is soil improvement, Tidish. which attempts to rescue and rejuvenate soil that has turned unstable or infertile after unhealthy industrial or agricultural procedures such as intensive farming or unsustainable mining. Lastly is draining, where mm. water is drained from bays or swamps to reclaim land through dams and channels, a method the Dutch are famous for. I mean. Just look at Flevoland, it was created entirely from this method. But going back to the US, what? they've made extensive use of all these techniques in order to take the most out of the land. And there's a few reasons why, and I'll get into those in a bit, but one of the most famous and oldest examples of land reclamation it's is the reclamation York. of the Back Bay in Flip. Boston. Boston was founded in 1630 on a small peninsula. But soon after, Boston faced a growing population and limited land. So as soon as the 1640s, English businessmen were granted permission to experiment with land reclamation by building dams trying to close off the bays connecting Boston with the mainland. Which is crazy to think about because in 1640, Boston's population was at a mere 1200. It's not like they were running out of space or anything at that time. I mean, today Boston has a population of 675,000. But anyway, the biggest project Project okay. took me, place after the Declaration of Independence, however, from 1811, when excavation of the neighboring Beacon Hill began. This ambitious project to fill in the tidal bay created over 450 million? acres of new land. What was once marshland is now one of Boston's most prestigious neighborhoods, home to iconic landmarks and historic buildings. This shows how Gems. long land reclamation has been part it. of America's history. So and it so wasn't bright. just in Boston either. On the west coast, San Francisco embarked on its own land reclamation journey. Following the gold rush, the city's population exploded, leading to a desperate need for more space. Over the years, parts of San Francisco Bay were filled in, Sounds expanding fine. the city's footprint significantly. Golden Today, Gates much of San Bridge? Francisco's downtown area stands on reclaimed land. Why do I call you Golden Gate Bridge and just rain? The whole Treasure Island area was in fact created with landfill techniques in 1915 to host the Panama Canal Exposition, using mainly debris from the terrible earthquake in 1906. So yeah, the US has been doing this for quite some time, but today, all land reclamation... I look kind of crack. So yeah, the US has been doing this for quite some time, but today, all land reclamation projects carried out at the federal level are organized by the Bureau of Reclamation. The reason for this is that land reclamation in today's day and age is much more about getting back land that you've lost. And more often than not, land reclamation serves critical environmental purposes, something the Bureau of Reclamation takes very seriously. The best way to highlight this okay. is to show you the coastal regions of the US, where they in particular are paying the toll of climate change. Erosion in areas oh. crucial to commercial services, extreme climatic events such as storms and typhoons, and the looming threat of rising sea levels all contribute to the fact that intervention is required. In some cases, reclaiming land is a necessary defense strategy to protect existing urban areas and infrastructure from these threats. Careful planning and management of land reclamation efforts may play a huge role in this. For instance, filling swampy coastal lands rich in mud and amphibious plants, which used to be common throughout
throughout much of the US East Coast may lower the production rate of acid leachate, responsible for the slow subsidence of coastal yeah. land below sea level. In fact, land reclamation can even play a pivotal role in restoring damaged ecosystems. In this vein, mm. some projects aim to reverse previous human interventions to restore the local biodiversity. Wetland reclamation, for example, involves recreating what marshes that? and other that? wetlands that have been drained or filled in the past. This usually has merged with the creation of databases and control systems to track changes in biodiversity and coordinate further conservation action plans when needed. The protection of original ecosystems are incredibly valuable not only in themselves but also as they act as natural buffers against floods, improve water quality and provide habitats for a wide range of species. In Florida, mm. wetland reclamation has been vital in conserving biodiversity and mitigating the impacts of coastal degradation. Similarly, Louisiana has launched a huge project to revitalize 1,200 acres of marshland in the Barataria Basin for a total budget of 181 million US dollars. But land reclamation isn't just about creating new urban areas, it's also about restoring and revitalizing degraded land. In the Rust Belt of the US, a region once dominated by heavy industry, many areas were left scarred by abandoned factories and polluted landscapes. There have been numerous efforts to rehabilitate these sites, converting them into parks, commercial zones and residential areas. Mm. These are valuable examples of industrial reclamation with the goal to revitalize local communities where certain industries have become obsolete. It is estimated that in the US, there are as many as 4 million industrial sites that have been abandoned due to becoming unproductive or otherwise inactive. In fact, 9 million Americans live within a mile of an orphaned oil or a gas well, and comparably many within a mile of an abandoned coal mine. These sites are identified by the Bureau of Reclamation I'll of the US as degraded land really? and are thus the subject of restoring right. projects to I'm put them to good use again. Degraded Stop lands it. are vulnerable to weathering and since they typically expose dangerous materials to the surrounding ecosystems, are prone to releasing hazardous substances such as carbon dioxide and methane. methane. So much so that for every dollar invested in this kind of land restoration, anywhere from 7 to 30 US dollars can be expected in the form of improved food production, water oh. quality, and carbon sequestration. Really? This is without mentioning the potential earnings in terms of communal life by building public spaces as parks, cultural centers, or waterfronts, as well as commercial facilities and real estate in premium locations. It's simply a no-brainer. But as oh. populations grow, especially in coastal cities, the demand for housing, infrastructure, and services increases. In many cases, land reclamation offers a solution to the problem of limited space allowing cities to expand in areas where natural land is scarce. The economic benefits of land reclamation can therefore be substantial as well. By creating new land for development, cities can attract investment, generate jobs, and stimulate oh yeah, economic jobs. growth. A report from the WGP Ohio River growth. Valley Institute estimates that the very process of embarking in land reclamation processes can stimulate the economy in states crippled oh, by heavily oh, degraded lands. One, With a 1.3 oh, billion US states. dollars per year investment, corresponding to cleaning up half of the abandoned mine in Appalachia, we could expect to support more than 17,000 jobs in 10 years, both in the huh? form of direct employment and administrative tasks. This is without considering the long-term opportunities depending on how wasteland is revitalized in these specific hey, projects. Like, in addition like to move, urban eh? and environmental needs, agriculture is another critical area where land reclamation plays a key <sighs> role. As demand for food continues to rise, especially with an at least currently growing global population, expanding agricultural land has become increasingly important. Land reclamation enables the conversion of previously unusable or degraded land into productive farmland, which may have been turned in for a time either it? due to pollution or overuse. Again, these efforts may pay back both by improving food production yes, in the face of economic grass. challenges and population I growth, think. and in support for local economies by generating farming it's jobs. Fine. In the United States, much of this reclamation involves oh, transforming in arid or semi-arid lands into to fertile fields through irrigation and soil management techniques. For instance, soil quality is improved by adding chemical nutrients, adjusting the soil's pH, and controlling moisture through channeling and terracing. The Central Valley in California, for example, is one of the most productive. Ah, beans. Beans around. And beans up, right? Yeah. Yeah, biology. It's really like good like nitrates or something, or nitrites, nitrates into the soil. Oh, you can, 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 you can,
productive agriculture regions in the world, thanks in part to extensive reclamation efforts that have made the land suitable for farming. Improving food production quality through land reclamation is a big deal. The Illinois Department of Agriculture estimates that food processing alone, on top of providing food security to its population, adds almost 11.5 billion US dollars annually to the local economy. For this reason, the department is one of many that is collaborating with the Bureau of Reclamation to restore wasted mine land. In general, the exploration of similar projects is proving fundamental to ensure a sufficient quality of living in face of the overpopulation of cities due to the combination of population growth and rampant urbanization. We are seeing this in crazy projects around the world from the eco-friendly artificial islands that Denmark is planning to expand and Copenhagen's surface area to Japan's plans to collect trash as the grounds of a new urban area in the middle of Tokyo Bay. Despite its many benefits, mm. land reclamation is not without its challenges. One of the most kind of crazy what we could do, eh? It's the people that's humans. And I guess building like land in water. Like that wasn't there before. Significant obstacles is the Actually, complex yeah, regulatory environment surrounding these projects. In the United States, land reclamation often requires navigating a web of federal, state, and local regulations designed to protect the environment and private property rights. Obtaining the necessary permits and approvals can be a lengthy and costly process, particularly when it comes to coastal or environmentally sensitive areas. But it's the government who don't do they still need permits? These regulations are crucial for balancing development needs with environmental protection, but they can also slow down or even hold projects if not carefully managed. Obviously, there needs to be a balance, but considering the US has done quite a lot of land reclamation through its time, it seems they've found it. But that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. W video man, very informative. If y'all enjoy, I'm not, peace out. See y'all in the next one. No kizzy.